It's already recording. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, one of the first things we might notice is the, the last equation doesn't have a y. So what's the coefficient of that y? Zero. Zero. Okay, so when we write our, our matrix, so this is the x's and the y's. Okay, I have to remember to think about a zero here, and then the z's, all, everything's line, uh, lined up. Six, one, negative one, negative two. One, two, one, five. One, zero, one, one. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that okay? What is it? What? Oh, yeah, the fourth edition book. Did I copy the problem down wrong? I did copy the problem down wrong. Thank you. I looked at the last one. Um, 6x plus y minus z is equal to negative 2. I'm sorry, guys. x plus 2y plus z equals 5. That, that one's right. So the last equation, I wrote down the wrong one. So let me, let me correct myself. Sorry. 5y minus z is equal to 2. That one, is that one right? All right. So then that's all wrong. I'm going to start over one more time. 6, 1, negative 1, negative 2. 1, 2, 1, 5. And now, what's my x here? Now my x is 0. And then my y is 5. My z is a negative 1 and a constant of 2. Okay, so that can happen a lot. Matrices are hard for me, um, just because it's just a whole page full of numbers, right? So we have to learn how to be very careful um, by keeping things organized. Okay, this was the first row, this is the second row. So I, got, I wrote down the wrong equation when I was going back and forth from the book and to my paper. And it can happen a lot, okay? So the more practice we have, the less it will happen, hopefully. Okay, um, so what do you think we want to get started with? Making the 6 a 1. Now, how would I do that? Um, multiply the second row by 5. Is that what you said? Um, I'm not sure. What's the very first row operation that I said? It's the easiest one of all of them. I can't just interchange two rows. So maybe the first thing I might want to do, um, let me just put up, remember, a form, the form we're looking for, the goal towards which we are working, the form we are looking for, Uh, for looking for, not for them, is, it's getting late, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, then your line of augmentation, I love saying that, and then these are just going to be some numbers, some constants, uh, 1, and 2, and 3. These numbers will be end up being our, our what, once we get it to look like this? Yeah, the point, the solution, right? So that's where we, we want it, that's where we're going, just to kind of give you an idea. So the first thing I noticed is I could take this one from the second row and put it in the first row. So I'm actually, the, that operation is I'm interchanging row one and row two. Notice that the notation here is an arrow, double arrow going between row one and row two. Again, you don't have to, I'm not going to grade this notation, but it might help you stay organized. Um, I ran out of room here, so I'm going to come work down here. 
So all I'm going to do is write row 2, write it for row 1, 1, 2, 1, 5, and I have 6, 1, negative 1, negative 2, and now I have 0, 5, negative 1, 2. Everybody okay with that? All I did, switch in a row? Any questions? You guys see what I did, right? Who's asking? Why did I switch the two rows? Because I want to go... <coughs> I switched the two rows because I want to make my, my matrix look like this. And so I notice that I've, I want a 1 in the top left-hand corner. And so the easiest way for me to do that is just to, to move this second row up, and then I put this, the first row down. I just switch them out. That way I don't have to do any adding or dividing or subtracting or anything, right? I just switch it out. It's just an easy operation to do. Does that, does that answer your question? Good question. Uh, also, I should say that there's more than one way to do these. Right? It's, it's like a lot of things in math. There's more than one way to do it. Okay. Um, okay, so now what? I've got something that looks like this. I want to make, remember, I keep this in my mind. I want to make, so I've got a 1, I've got a 0 here. You might want to think, work, uh, maybe work one column at a time. Work one column at a time, left to right. So I'm still working on the leftmost column here. I've got my 1 in the right place. I've got my 0 in the right place. I just need to make this guy a 0. How can I do that? To what? Um, not the third line, the first one. So also, when you count the lines, um, count the, this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one. But yeah, negative 6 is right. So notice that if I take row 1, which is this row, and I'm going to multiply that by a negative 6, and then I'm going to add that to row 2, then this becomes a 1 times a negative 6 is a negative 6 plus the 6, and I get the what? The 0 that I want. So now we just have to do that for every element in the row, every entry in the row. So everyone take a minute and see if you can get this. Now I know that to help you keep it organized, I know that the only row that I'm going to change is my second one. So I'm going to write my first one down, and my third one down, Okay, and now I'm just going to do this math. One, so another little trick is I keep my pen or, or my finger on row one, and I know that I'm multiplying this entry by a negative six, and I'm going to add whatever number I get in my head to this one, to the one below it. So this is one times negative six, negative six plus six is zero. That gives me my zero. Two times a negative six is negative twelve, plus a one is negative 11. 1 times a negative 6 is negative 6 plus a negative 1 is negative 7. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30 plus the negative 2 is a negative 32. Everybody okay? Any questions? All right, um, so now we're working one column at a time left to right. Notice this column is in good shape, one, zero, zero. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to pick one of these two columns and I want to make this a one here. Okay, now I know that at some point this one is going to have to be a zero. Okay, so I can't just make it a zero by multiplying. The only option now I have to work with is I can either take this one or this one and try to make it a 1. So which one you want to do? Uh, 
Um, not the first and third one. So uh, I want to make, so look at my form. I've got the first column. Does everybody agree? Now I know that, now this row I'm not going to change anymore because I've already got the one in its place. So I know that this is, at some point I'm going to have to make this a zero and at some point this will become a zero. Um, so that means one of these two numbers has to be a one. I can use either row here. Any ideas? This one or this one? This one. So how am I going to make that a one? Multiplying, say that again. Okay, so if I multiply the third row by two, then I get 10. Then I add these together and I get negative one. That's a good start. Once I get something that says a negative one, then there's then it's real easy to change the sign of the whole row, just to change it to one. So I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to the operation that I want to do is I want to do row three times a two, and I'm going to add that to row two. All right, so the first row is not changing. One, two, one, uh, and then a five. The third row is not going to change. I'm going to write that down. Now it's just a matter of multiplying the third row by two and adding it to the second one. Um, what's zero times two? Plus zero is? Yeah, even though these are here, you shouldn't check and make sure. Uh, that you don't accidentally add something here, okay? So zero times two is zero, plus zero is zero. So that's good. It's good that that state is zero, right? Because we don't want to deviate from this. 